Good morning, ICC. Uh, this is your uh, midday ICC connection. And uh, this week I was in a, a conversation with Richard Agler, who's a, a rabbi, a resident scholar at the uh, Keys Jewish Center. And he was talking to a group of, of us pastors, and he said, uh, you know, there's a section in the book of Deuteronomy that I, I want to share with you. And uh, he shared these words. It's from Deuteronomy 25, 17, and 18. And then I'll share his, his thoughts about it here in a second. It says, Remember what the Amalekites did to you long ago, the way when you came out of Egypt, when you were weary and worn out. They met you on your journey and attacked all who were lagging behind. They had no fear of God. In the conventional Midrash, the uh, Amalekite is, is a representative of a symbol of evil with no conscience and no morality and and they had always attack the stragglers, the the weakest of the Israelites, as they were as they were traveling. Um, and then there's another midrash that sort of rebukes um, those who were were not defending those who were being attacked. He said, "We bear part of the responsibility for allowing there to be stragglers in the first place." And then he he related it this way. He said, "This plague." is like the Amalekites. It attacks many, but the stragglers are the most vulnerable. Well, boy, that's the truth, isn't it? Um, those that seem to be in nursing homes or seem to already be in poor health seem to be the ones that are are attacked. Now, there's some exceptions to that, I understand. But uh, my goodness, it's it seems so tragic. And uh, it says that it's, it's exposed the fault line and the shortcomings in our society that we do have those stragglers. Um, you know, we, we don't have people who have access to medical care like they should. We have people who don't have the ability to pay. Um, I'm grateful for the things that some of our insurance companies are doing and some of our care facilities are doing to try to meet the, the needs of the people. But the, think about the, the vulnerability of the unemployed right now or the uninsured, um, the homeless. Uh, you know, we have a responsibility as a church to rise up and and make sure that we're gathering one another in, and that's why I'm so grateful for that that fund that um, that ICC has set up for you know for people that are vulnerable. Um, so it says this time, uh, Richard said this time the Amalekite has come in the form of a virus, and again the stragglers bear the brunt of the attack, but the rest of us are not exempt from responsibility. You know, and I, I thought about, you know, what a what a punk Satan is for attacking the weak and the vulnerable, the the stragglers. But but we as the church, you know, instead of hiding in fear, have a responsibility to, to pull alongside those people. And what a it's not just a responsibility, it's a super opportunity. Um, I love the fact that some of our people have been jumping in and really helping people who are in need. I, I had to have the caution and the caveat though. Make sure you're staying safe as you do that. Um, it's so important during this time for us to stay spiritually, mentally, um, emotionally, uh, health, physically healthy during this time. You know, get into the Word, exercise, um, journal if that if that's what helps you. Uh, read, do those things that keep the fire going in you and keep you running in the race because God needs the church more than more than ever right now you know over in the book of in the in the book of romans it says let me see if i can pull it up here real quick it says to um rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn and we have some people right now that that we just need to grieve with we need to feel the pain that they're feeling the people that have, have lost people that they love and and care for uh, and then it says to rejoice with those that rejoice. So don't lose your heart. Don't lose a sense of, of joy in the Lord and the, the fact that we belong to him and, and we are his. It goes on and says, don't be proud, but we're willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. In church, we have a great opportunity to really be the church to those that are in need, to those that are lagging behind, to those that are struggling. So... Uh, Let's be the church to folks. This is part one. I'm going to share a part two here with you in a, in a bit. But God bless you and hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.